Hello and welcome to the Imagine Crafts YouTube channel. My name is Lynn or LV Handcrafted here on YouTube and today I am going to customize a bit of ribbon. So what I've been doing lately is I've actually stopped buying ribbon in different colors but instead buying um, larger rolls of just white ribbon but in different widths. So I prefer this these days because it's just so easy to color your own ribbon. Now I've got some Delicata ink here and one thing I want to show is that if you take your ink and you swipe across your ribbon you you might get streaks that make it a little bit harder to get that nice full um, coverage to make it really dye the, the ribbon, the fabric. Instead, what I like to do is I like to just hold the ink pad firmly pressed against the ribbon and I'll pull out my ribbon to about where, where like how long of a stretch that I need and I'll hold the ink pad firmly there and then I'll pull on the ribbon and that way I can keep nice, firm, even pressure on the ink pad. I am doing this onto a silicone mat, so cleanup will be easy. And I'm really just only holding down, not the full uh, size of the ink pad, because this is a large ink pad, but just to minimize waste, I'm just holding down that, that top edge. Now, depending on how you plan to use this ribbon, because sometimes all I do is just attach my ribbon to a card front, I don't even bother inking up the back. But if you are going to dye your ribbon for, say, to tie at the top of a tag, which is what I'll be doing today, then you do want to swipe this from the back side too. Because while the ink does permeate through the ribbon and you can sort of see it through to the back, it's not going to give you super full coverage. So I would definitely ink the back if you are using this ribbon in such a way where um, both sides will be visible. So to make my tag really super easy, I've got a tag punch tool here that cuts out this really nice uh, curvy kind of ornate top along with the hole at the top of the tag and I've just uh, gone ahead and done that for a bit of pattern paper as well as just some plain old white cardstock and what I'll do is just uh, start creating my tag so one of the best things about dyeing your own ribbon is that in this case I'm not actually stamping um, anywhere else on this little project but let's say you were making a card for example and you use that same Delicata ink elsewhere on your project. By dyeing your own um, ribbon you've matched your stamped uh, whether it's a sentiment or an image perfectly with your ribbon. So instead of uh, buying a lot of different colored ribbons and having to store a lot of different colors and just going with maybe the best fit, even if it's not like a hundred percent a good match with the other colors going on on your project, I just like keeping white around. So I'm still working my way through all of the various colors that I have, but it's really nice just to have white in different widths and then I can just ink up as much as I need and not actually have to store a lot of different colors. And so I would definitely play with um, other inks by um, Imagine Crafts as well. It's not that the Delicata is the only ink that um, that will work for this technique. It's just that it was the right shade of red that I wanted. Because actually what I was trying to do was match the bit of red that's in the pattern paper that I have. And it just so happened that the Delicata ink that I have in Ruby Red was a perfect match. Now to spruce up and make my tag just a little extra special, I did um, make a wax seal and it's it's a really cute seal that says uh, do not open until December 25th. So it's great for tags like these where you can put it onto a present that is meant for opening on Christmas Day. 
And one of the reasons I, I like this wax seal is because I often send advent calendars out to family and friends as holiday gifts, and those need to arrive December before December 1st. But I try to, if I can, uh, send Christmas presents at the same time. And tags like these are great because then I can mark which presents are actually meant for Christmas Day and which ones, like the advent calendar, I, you know, want them to open straight away December 1st. So I hope you like this idea of uh, dyeing your own ribbons and maybe saving yourself a little bit of crafty storage uh, because now all of your inks can be different colors of ribbon. Thanks for joining me today. Until next time, happy crafting and have a fabulous day. Bye.